The Pentagon has recently revitalized an initiative focused on obtaining a jet-powered stealth aerial target drone. This program intends to leverage the drone's versatile attributes to emulate sophisticated adversary stealth fighters, such as Russia's Su-57 Felon and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, along with their electronic warfare capabilities. There's an increasing need to replicate these advanced aerial threats in training drills and assessment events, and at times, to accomplish this cheaply enough that the simulated adversaries can be taken out if deemed necessary. This is an interesting move that has several consequences on the tactical front. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the US military will utilize drones that mimic rival stealth fighters. Let's get started. This contract was granted on behalf of the Pentagon's Test Resources Management Center TRMC, as indicated in the official contract notice. In contract award announcement, TRMC said, The goal for the program is to obtain game-changing, revolutionary, high-risk, high-reward advancements that propel the ability to perform the military's tests and evaluations activities, thus mitigating the timeframes of associated military capability obsolescence. The award announcement stated that due to the high costs and extended operational lifespans of the latest fifth-generation fighter aircraft, there is a shortage of retired airframes that adequately mirror the attributes of fifth-generation threats. The notice about the new fifth-generation aerial target or 5GAT contract award explains, over the past 15 years, the government has investigated various aircraft configurations and legacy engine options that could be combined to produce an affordable 5GAT. The U.S. military has used aerial targets for over 50 years to test and improve the lethality of their weapon systems. The purpose of aerial targets is to replicate critical characteristics of threat aircraft, such as performance, signature, and countermeasures. It continues, these target aircraft must represent the threat throughout an engagement, i.e. from initial acquisition until missile impact, and hence the target is often destroyed after completing only a few tests. To contain costs for these limited lifetime assets, unmanned versions of retired fighter aircraft have previously been employed for this mission. However, due to the increased cost and lifespan of the latest fifth generation of fighter aircraft, there are no retired airframes available that adequately represent the characteristics of fifth generation threats. Key among these characteristics is size, signature, and electronic attack or EA payloads. Advanced Technology International Inc. has been awarded the contract on August 4th for the development of the prototype of the 5GAT to mitigate this problem. Valued at around $77.2 million upon completion of all milestones and options, the contract was given to the U.S. Army Contracting Commands Division in Orlando, Florida. The document further identifies Advanced Technology International, Inc., as the primary managing entity responsible for this project, while acknowledging Sierra Technical Services, Inc. as a subcontractor in the program. The drone's design to be created jointly by Advanced Technology International and Sierra Technical Services is an upgraded iteration of a model previously developed by the latter company during an earlier phase of the 5GAT program. The program was halted when the prototype crashed during its inaugural flight on October 23, 2020, due to a software glitch. Nonetheless, the combined system's effectiveness and capabilities continues to be pursued to enhance the fifth-generation aerial target initiative. Under this new contract, the two organizations will have the opportunity to further enhance the design, create additional prototypes, and resume flight testing of the aircraft.
The initial prototype of the 5G AT displayed distinct features, including an elongated nose section, diamond-shaped wings positioned at the rear, and tricycle landing gear, enabling it to take off and land in a conventional manner. Its design incorporated stealth elements, such as a chined forward fuselage, honeycomb composite structures for construction, concealed intakes to obscure the radar-reflecting fan faces of its J85 engines, and serrated engine exhausts. In its original concept, the 5GAT drone was envisioned to carry a range of payloads internally, including sensors, electronic warfare suites, and expendable countermeasures. It could also accommodate various external stores. 5GAT will essentially need to replicate the profile of Russia's Su-57 Felon and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. The Sukhoi Su-57 is the fifth-generation, stealthy, single-seat, twin-engine, jet multi-role fighter aircraft designed for air superiority and ground attack operations. It is the successor of the Su-35 and Russia's answer to the American F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor. Its prototype first flew on the 29th of January 2010, and it's seen limited operational deployment in Syria and Ukraine. Chengdu J-20 is a single-seat, multi-role stealth fighter for air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat roles and integrated avionics, which was test-flown for the first time on January 11, 2011. The jet is developed and manufactured by the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group, or CAIG. The total number of operational jets is not known at present, but it seems to have entered serial production in recent times. This action underscores the U.S. military's unwavering dedication to upholding technological supremacy. A distinct requirement exists for aerial targets that accurately emulate fifth-generation aerial threats. The announcement concerning the new 5GAT contract specifically highlights the necessity for these simulated adversary capabilities to bolster the development of various next-generation countermeasures. The urgency to replicate these advanced aerial threats during training exercises and test and evaluation events is progressively gaining momentum since there's a need to improve preparedness and proficiency in dealing with near-peer rivals like Russia and China. However, a notable aspect of this mandate is the imperative to accomplish such emulation in an economically sustainable manner, a goal that the 5GAT project is aiming to achieve. Sierra Technical Services has said in the past that it was aiming for a unit price under $10 million. It remains to be seen how this endeavor progresses in the coming days. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.